Very good evening and welcome. Breaking views on the ground in the election state of Tripura. Our coverage continues and tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, Tripura is all set to cast its vote. And with it, not only will they decide the future of Tripura, who is going to be the ruler or uh, to say the least, the, the government in the next five years, but also it is going to kickstart the long road of elections in 2023, which is leading up to the big battle of 2024. I'm Ankit Tyagi. Welcome to Agartala. Uh, tomorrow, the voting starts at 8 a.m. And uh, before that, today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, we try to go across the state, across the state capital, to try and understand what are the voters thinking today. Is there any lingering factor that uh, is going to propel their vote? Or there are people, those who are still undecided in this crucial battle of northeastern state of Tripura. Take a look at what the voters of Agartala told me through the day. This is a very popular hangout joint uh, in Agartala. We have come here to try and understand what the mood today is a day before. Now it's a vote yesterday. Yes. Do you want to vote? Yes, I will. What do you think about the vote? The vote is going to go. The vote is going to go. Yes, it is going to go. Young logo, to kal vote dalne jaoge? Ah, yeah. Ah. Literally, I'm very excited because tomorrow is my first vote. Your first vote? Yeah, yeah. What is the issue when you will be voting for? Ya fir mummy papa jisko bol denge usko vote dal. Nee nee nee. Mera wo hai ki wo jo exam ke hai na exam ke liye jo matlab school wagera hai na uske development ke liye agar jo education pe jo kaam karega. Ha, wohi hai aur road bhi hai na road. Hamare udhar road ekdam matlab kya hi bolle. Soch liya kisko dalna hai? हाँ मनी मन में हाँ कुछ है हाँ कुछ है हाँ अच्छा so any particular you know leader or somebody जिस जो देखकर आपको लगता हो कि हाँ ये ठीक बात बोल रहा है मेरे लिए तो मतलब क्या ही बोलो अगर तला के बेसिस पे नहीं मैं वैसे मैं लीडर बोलो तो केजरीवाल मतलब बेस्ट लगता है मेरे को अच्छा his personality is awesome यार all of the India knows okay what do you think? I think so Narendra Modi is the best. Narendra Modi Haan is the best? Narendra. We are opposite to yes. each other. What's going on, sir? The mall is going on. Is it good? It's very peaceful. It's going on. Good. It's going on. Good. It's going on. Good. It's going on. It's a close fight. Hmm. Fight. So, who do you think is the most chance? This is the most chance. Who? The most chance. The most chance. The most chance. जोट मतलब लेफ्ट और कांग्रेस का जो मिला करे और प्रद्युत राजा का राजा का तो पूरा को वोट मिलेगा कल आपका वोट कैसे करोगे आप करोगे हाँ करूँगा करोगे क्या सोच के वोट करोगे जोट को करूँगा हाँ जोट जोट को करूँगा बोल इसको दोगे जोट को जोट को सो व्हेन दे सेइंग जोट को दैट्स बेसिकली यू नो द कांग that people are talking about. So as a lot of people trickle in here, uh, it will be interesting to see how the election pans out. Enough talking. I'm going to eat now. So stay tuned. And don't watch me eating. Or you may. But whenever you are in Agartala, come and try this. What fulfilling for 20 rupees? This is very good. You know, one very typical feature that I saw here in uh, Agartala, Tripura is that on the roadsides, there are these carom, uh, you know, clubs sort of things that are there where people come out in the evening uh, to enjoy a few uh, games of uh, carom. And uh, uh, like you're seeing behind me, just on most corners, you will find them. Uh, so I just thought I'll stop and ask these gentlemen, those who are playing carom right now, who is winning on this board? and on the political board of Tripura. Come. Oh, it's gone, sir, Queen. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Queen didn't get out of here. No. What's your name, sir? Kajal. So, you guys... Oh, wow, what a shot, sir. You're behind Queen. This is Kajal Ji and he's going to play Queen. Oh, man, it's gone. This is also Queen. You guys are Queen, but tell me, who is going to play Queen? Who is going to play Queen? Who is going to play Queen? Who is going to play? बीजेपी के पास बीजेपी के पास सीधा जवाब बहुत काम कर रहे हैं अभी फ्री रसन दे रहा है कुछ अभी जो कोरोना के टाइम था उस टाइम ने हमको फ्री वैक्सीन दिया है 
किसका मामला ज्यादा बेहतर है कौन जीत रहा है कैरम बोर्ड में चुनाव का बीजेपी का बीजेपी का वो क्या लगता है सर भाजपा सब बीजेपी अच्छा आपको भी सर ऐसे लगता है क्या भाजपा ही भाजपा ही सर आपको क्या लगता है सर क्या है चुनाव में इस बार माहौल सुनो में तो बीजेपी आ जाएगा बीजेपी आ जाएगा ये तो कोई बात नहीं So that was a pocket of BJP supporters that I also found uh, while I was, uh, you know, around and at the Puri shop. There were a lot of Jodh supporters, the alliance. But uh, elections often are fought and won, as they say, on issues, issues that directly impact the people. One such issue that has been going on in Tripura, or at least people are talking about in Tripura. for the last 5 uh, years or more than that from 2017 to now is the issue of 10323 teachers those who were after a supreme court decision they had to lose their job in 2018 the bjp made promises and said that we will find a solution hemant biswas sharma's one uh, sound bite on that is right now going viral but after 5 years of power of the incumbent government what have the teachers got and what is their condition right now and how much of an impact is this teachers issue going to have on the elections tomorrow this is their story tripura is a state which has a very high unemployment rate 16% uh, the last uh, you know the report which came in in january said that tripura has 16% unemployment Uh, that's a uh, cmi uh, data and uh, uh, this is among the highest in the northeastern states in a state which is already struggling to provide employment to its citizens this is also a state where more than 10400 teachers about 10400 teachers those who were employed by the state government are now jobless they have been thrown out of the job a supreme court order of 2017 said that uh, the posts which were created or the people those who were given the job is null and void now since then since 2017 and in 2018 when the bjp government uh, bjp was trying to uh, you know unseat the left government promises were made to more than 10000 teachers that they will be rehabilitated something will be done for them from 2018 when the gov- new government of the bjp was formed to 2023 these teachers are still jobless waiting for their salaries waiting for any resolution from the government incumbent government of tripura their story ladies and gentlemen also tells you the story of how promises are made and then forgotten once elections are over i'm joining uh, i'm joined by a few of these teachers those who are here ye ye wo hai himant biswa sharma sahab ka bayan ये दस हजार तीन सौ तेसठी शिक्षक को हम लोग न्याय देगा साथ में बाकी युवक को भी नौकरी न्याय दूंगा और सर्व शिक्षा अभियान आर एम एस का टीचर्स को भी न्याय मिलेगा और फिक्स में जो लोग है आप लोग रिकॉर्ड कर लीजिए फिर बाद में सलाना घुमा घुमा के सलाना अगर हम लोग नहीं करेगा तो ऐसा माहौल कर दीजिए कि उन्नीस का इलेक्शन में हम लोग आ ही नहीं पाता हूँ यहाँ ऐसा माहौल कर दीजिए अब इन्हीं भरोसों के नाम पर इन्होंने पिछली बार वो सरकार चुनी थी और अब हताशा से उस सरकार की ओर देख रहे हैं जिसने पांच साल से इनके लिए कोई समाधान नहीं निकाला है मैम आप कितने साल से पढ़ा रहे थे इससे पहले क्या पढ़ाते थे आप और कहाँ पढ़ाते थे हाँ मैं तो प्रो पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट टीचर्स थी एम पी आली चौधरी मैं तो स्कूल पे मेरा सब्जेक्ट था एजुकेशन में इलेवन ट्वेल्व स्पेशली पढ़ाती थी और कभी कभार छोटी मोटी जो बाकी क्लासेस होते थे उसमें भी क्लास किया करते थे हम टेन ईयर्स से ये जॉब में कि, थे हम कितना सैलरी आप लोगों को मिलता था और अब कितने महीने से सैलरी नहीं मिला है एक्चुअली ये जो हम लोगों का जब जो मिला था तब फाइव ईयर्स हम लोगों ने फिक्स सैलरी था हम लोगों का फाइव ईयर्स के बाद रेगुलर हमको सैलरी मिल रहे थे और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट के लिए हमने लास्ट ड्रॉ किए थे थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड समथिंग एट हंड्रेड समथिंग ऐसे कुछ सैलरी हमको मिलते थे कब से आपको सैलरी नहीं मिली जो ये गवर्नमेंट जो अभी है वो वो लोगों ने तो हमको प्रॉमिस किया था कि आने के बाद हम लोगों के लिए कोई सल्यूशन करेंगे थोड़े दिन पहले फिर जब इलेक्शन आया हिमंत विश्व शर्मा जी फिर त्रिपुरा में आए 
और अभी आप देखिए वो बात भी चैनल पर है अभी आके बोल रहे हैं ये तो सुप्रीम कोर्ट का मामला है हम तो कुछ नहीं मालूम एवरीबडी नोज दैट दैट बिकॉज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट्स वर्डिक वी लूज आवर जॉब द एग्जैक्टली व्हाट हैपन टू विद अस नोबडी नोज द फैक्ट इज दैट दैट जजमेंट व्हिच केम फ्रॉम हाई कोर्ट इन द ईयर 2014 देन आफ्टर 2017 यस they are nobody says no not even high court not even supreme court they never said that 10323 teachers were terminated uh. the fact is that last year we went to supreme court and asked for some rti uh. whether we were the parties of that particular cases or not supreme court has given a written rti answer that yeah. we were not the party of the particular case ye aapko batata hai ki kaise ek vyakti naukri agar chali jaye तो कैसे पूरा आपका सिर्फ असर आपके जो ऊपर नहीं पड़ता पूरा परिवार चरमरा जाता है पूरी व्यवस्था खराब हो जाती है और उसका असर सिर्फ इनके ऊपर नहीं जैसे इनको नौकरी मिली थी तो इनके पहले परिवार जो था उस उस परिवार में ये लोग बेहतर कर पाए थे अब नौकरी नहीं रहने से ना सिर्फ इनके ऊपर असर हो रहा है बल्कि इनके खुद के बच्चों के फ्यूचर के ऊपर असर हो रहा है और परिवार के आसपास क्योंकि जिन लोगों की मदद से अभी अपना खर्चा चला रहे हैं उनके ऊपर भी असर पड़ रहा है उनके ऊपर भी बोझ पड़ रहा है बच्चों का भी ऊपर प्रसार पड़ रहा है बच्चे अभी सोच लिए ज्यादा जो बोला है बच्चा क्लास सेवन में होली क्रॉस में पढ़ रहा है अभी तीन मह तीन साल से हम लोग वेतन नहीं दे रहे तो अल्टीमेटली उसको बंगला स्कूल में लाना पड़ता है तो बच्चे का मतलब क्या है शिक्षा डिडक्शन हो जाता है कितना मुश्किल हो हो रहा है आप लोगों के लिए अपना जीवन चलाना मतलब सडनली आप नौकरी कर रहे हो बहुत और नौकरी चला जाए तो कैसे आप लोग अपना अरे कैसे अभी आप सोचिए आप एक मतलब एक हाउस में जॉब कर रहे हैं अगर आपका जॉब चला जाएगा तो आपका फैमिली बाल बच्चा कैसे चलेगा हमारा 152 152 पर्सन एक्सपायर हो गया 10 टू 12 टीचर हैज बीन मतलब सुइसाइड किया अब सोचिए कुछ दिन पहले आज से तीन चार दिन पहले एक टीचर ने हैंगिंग करके सुइसाइड किया एक टीचर ने रेल कट पत्री के नीचे सुइसाइड किया तो लोगों का जीना आराम कर दिया ना अभी थर्टी सिक्स से कुछ सैलरी नहीं है हम लोग का पाँच साल आंदोलन में सिर्फ दो बार हम लोग मुलाकात करने के लिए टाइम मिला है मिल पाया आप लोग मिल पाया वो एक बार पीपल ऑफ देव से दे लास्ट टाइम में मानिक डॉक्टर मानिक सह और ठीक है हम दो मास में सॉल्व कर दूंगा विप्लव देव ने कहा दो मास में मैं पॉलिटिकल लीडर हो नहीं है हम एक सीएम हो हम दो मास में ये तकलीफ दो महीने में सीख कर देंगे सीख कर देंगे ये गवर्नमेंट रहेगा तो हमारा कुछ सलूशन नहीं नहीं ये नहीं होगा क्योंकि 2018 इलेक्शन के पहले ये जो सरकार है हम लोगों को प्रतिश्रुति दिया था कि ये सरकार आने के बाद हम लोगों के लिए कुछ सलूशन करेगा अभी ये जो डबल इंजन सरकार है हम लोग सोचा था ये दिल्ली में भी है यह भी रहेगा तो डबल इंजन सरकार की दौलत में हम लोगों के लिए कुछ सल्यूशन होगा छोटा भाई है वो भी हमारे साथ में नौकरी करता है ना तो कहाँ सी पी एम का लोग है शांतना चकमा तो बीजेपी का मिनिस्टर है ना सरकार अभी बोल रहा है की जैसे भाई और जब नौकरी निकलेगा तो जैसे और लोग नौकरी के लिए अप्लाई कर रहा है आप लोग भी आइए इंटरव्यू दीजिए और फिर नौकरी मिल जाएगा हो गया हमारा देखिए एक सरकार फोर्टी सिक्स उम्र हो गया गवर्नमेंट का क्राइटेरिया है फोर्टी तक ठीक है हम लोग का फोर्टी सिक्स या फोर्टी एट का हो गया तो कैसे मिलेगा वही है ना ये छोटा मोटा स्टेट की एक टीचर डेथ हो गए इसमें दस टीचर सुइसाइड क्या हुआ है ये कम बड़ा मुद्दा है क्या और हम लोगों ने डिसाइड क्या हुआ है त्रिपुरा की जो दस हजार तीन सौ तेईस टीचर हर एक सब डिविजन में है सभी मिलकर डिसीजन लिया हुआ है ये जो सरकार है ये सरकार को हम दोबारा आने नहीं देंगे ये जो टीचर्स बैठे हुए हैं आज और भी टीचर्स है हम लोगों का जो एक एक टीचर के नाम पे दस बारह करके केसेस लगा दिया हुआ है हम लोगों के पीछे नाम हम लोग जो इधर नाराबाजी कर रहा हो फिफ्टी वन डेज सिटी सेंटर के सामने कुछ मतलब ये नहीं है पुलिस आके सुबह सुबह डंडा लगाया टी आर केस लगाया पानी फेंका और पंद्रह की सोलह केस लगाया नॉन वेलबल सेक्शन क्या है हम लोग तो कुछ लाठी बटल नहीं है सिर्फ ऐसे एजिटेशन कर रहे हो हम लोग को डिमांड है वी वांट जस्टिस लेकिन ये का होम मिनिस्टर का जो पुलिस है सुबह सुबह आके टीचर लोगों को लाठी पिटा किया 
वाटर वेरेंट किया इतना टॉर्चर किया थाउजेंड का ऊपर टीचर है इंजोर्ड है सफर है सफरिंग कर रहा है तो नौकरी मिलने से पहले हम लोग तो अनमेरिड थे ना तो नौकरी मिला हमने शादी किया हमारे बच्चे हो गए बच्चे को हमने अच्छा स्कूल में डाल दिया था अभी तीन साल से जो हमें बिना टर्मिनेशन के बिना बिना सैलरी के निकाल दिया है तो हम लोग क्या करें बच्चे को स्कूल से निकाल दिए निकाल के गवर्नमेंट किसी स्कूल में डाल दिए हम लोग तो उसका जो भविष्य है उसको खराब कर दिया एक सरकारी डिसीजन ने मेरे बच्चे का भविष्य खराब कर दिया दूसरी बात हम अभी खाएं कैसे खाने के लिए हम लोग टीचर जो है ना वो मछली बेच रहा है सब्जी बेच रहा है रिक्शा चला रहा है ऑटो रिक्शा जिसमें आप लोग घूम रहे हैं शहर में उसमें बहुत सारे टेन थाउजेंड टीचर्स है पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट टीचर्स है ग्रेजुएट टीचर्स है वट दे शुड डू दिस इज दिस इज एज ए सेट इन द बिगिनिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो अ स्टोरी ऑफ हाउ political parties go all out will promise anything whether it can be fulfilled or not or whether they want to fulfill or not just to win elections and once elections are over at least they are witness and testament to the fact how elections and people and sometimes voters are completely forgotten with camera person sonjoy ankit yagi in agartala ndtv So that's an important story, and we'll have to see how it uh, plays out uh, in the election tomorrow. But what are the key swing factors which could possibly be the deciding factors uh, when the result comes, uh, which could swing the election one way or the other for the BJP or for uh, the Gatbandan or the Alliance? So let me now just discuss few of those factors, and I have uh, senior local journalist uh, here. Pinaki Das, assistant news editor, North East Live, is with me. Devraj Dev, senior correspondent, Indian Express, uh, is also with me. They have been continuously keeping a very, very close eye on this entire election campaign. Pinaki Das, I want to start by asking you. Uh, you know, Tripura elections are usually synonymous with the kind of violence that takes place, and it is also sometimes a tool which is used uh, to ensure who votes and who does not. Will this election be different? uh see uh tripura has this uh, predominantly this violence is true but at the same time the voting was also high in tripura uh, uh, uh during last uh, few election we have seen violence was there uh, but uh, this time uh, i believe the violence will be less uh, in the less. sense violence in the sense because the as the uh, election commission and the ceo as he said uh, this uh, the initiatives those have been taking particularly two months ahead of the election mm. uh, with so much of security forces the area domination uh, pre poll violence has seen a decline Uh, it has seen a decline compared to the 2018. The there were uh, more than uh, what we came to know were 370 like cases, right. but this time it is only 110. So one third it has reduced, hmm. and there were uh, initiatives like uh, there were uh, some arrest of arrest of. So you know, basically, now this time you think that it will be largely a free and fair and peaceful election. I ex I hope so. Hope I hope so. so. Preventive arrest was one of the big things. Sixteen right. hundred preventive arrests have been made. Yeah. And the force. But the opposition then says that you know it has been very selective in who has been picked up and not. But Devraj, another important factor that we are looking at, the swing factor that people are talking about, is what does the Maharaj, uh, his party does. The tribal vote is important. Last time the BJP was propelled by uh, the tribal vote with their uh, you know alliance partner. Out of thirty six, eighteen seats came from the. tribal area will tripura motha dent that for the bharatiya janata party well it is very tough to say what will happen but uh, yes tripura motha is sort of posturing itself as a, a very dominant factor here particularly because tripura motha is you know uh, led by uh, the head of the tripura royal family the erstwhile royal family his name is mr pradyut kishor manik dev barma and judging by the fact that tripura royals uh, had a very strong command over the special tribal votes in uh, local politics uh, pradyush father uh, late uh, kirit bikram kishor manik uh, was a congress mp and defeated none other than the legendary left leader dasharath dev who later became chief minister mm -hmm. and his mother bibu kumari devi who is uh, still around she defeated manik sarkar who became chief minister for four terms mm -hmm. so uh, in keeping with the you know legacy pradyush is of course moving ahead with his issue of a uh, greater tripura land which is basically uh, autonomous state or a state inside the state uh, and more power to tribal he could turn into a headache for you know also the left or the bjp he could uh, you know cut votes both ways because exactly. left also had a bastion in the uh, let has vote. it let has it uh, left we saw it was the main, the main bastion was the tribal vote we used to say earlier that left started with which count from 20 hmm. but those 20 reserve seat uh, but other than pradu the royal family 
the greater factor is the greater Tipra land, which yeah. is the sentimental issue for the tribal, particularly if you see into the yeah. youths yeah. and the women turn out uh, towards uh, the party. Because if you see into IPFT in 20, before the 2018 election, it was had the same issue of uh, Tipra land, a separate state for the tribal, but Pradut has added the greater yeah. word. And that is and he's quite popular as well with his speeches and all. But uh, very quickly, I want to also turn my attention uh, to the left in the Congress alliance, which has been seen as the major... Uh, you know, the main opponent, to say the least, as far as the BJP is concerned. Both of them had a very bloody history. Will their Kada be able to come together, forgive and forget the history and vote for their future because they are literally fighting for their existence? See, uh, this is a big question and this is what the CPM particularly and the Congress is trying to work. If you see into, they have not gone for big uh, mass rallies, but they are trying to mobilize their voters at the very ground level. But, that, but are they coming together? They have come together. The leaders have come on together. The at the grassroots also, we can say the communists have his command on his on his cutter based party supporters particularly. But but for the Congress, who mm. were the victim of this uh, communist uh, regime of the violence of the communists, that is a big factor. That is a big factor. factor. What about, uh, you know, the Hindutva noise that we see? In a lot of BJP rallies, we saw Jai Shri Ram being very prominently chanted. There was uh, Yogi Adityanath. There was uh, Chief, uh, the, the, home, uh, the Home Minister. Also, uh, Hemant Biswa Sarma, all of them talking about Ram Mandir, Ayodhya. Tripura never resonated with that kind of religious polarization. Is that happening or is that a plank? Well, there is an effort certainly to make, you know, the uh, uh, Tilakdhari kind of culture work in Tripura. But like you rightly said, Tripura did never had a, you know, religious polarization. But, uh, you know, um, let us not forget that uh, two years back when there was some, uh, you know, communal uh, disturbance in neighboring Bangladesh, there were serious repercussions in Tripura as well and there were incidents of attacks on a couple of religious, uh, you know, uh, prayer houses. Mm -hmm. So these incidents uh, still are, uh, you know, very much alive and, be, uh, you know, some leaders of BJP are basically trying to tap on this sentiment and trying to say that basically, you know, Congress and communists have, uh, you know, right. uh, insulted the Hindu sentiment and BJP has given them respect with the Ram Mandir issue and, of course, uh, you know, the uh, whole, whole kind right. of... Right. So, and remember, Tripura is a majority Hindu state. Uh, so whether this resonates with a certain pocket or a population, well, BJP, as we've been, uh, all of us were discussing as well, development labharti, development focused on, uh, uh, you know, highways, roads and airports. And apart from that, a very specific pitch to the women, the labharti section uh, with ration and everything and coupled with it, the Hindutva factor. So BJP is trying to make a potent mixture uh, to make sure that they, they remain seated on, on the seat of the power in Tripura. Gentlemen, thank you so much for sparing the time and uh, you know giving our viewers a very uh, ringside view of how the election so far is stacked. Uh, just very quickly, so this is, you know, we largely tell you what are the issues and how it, the election uh, possibly is going to be swung one way or the other. But very quickly, my colleague uh, Ratno Deep today went out because tomorrow is election, massive preparations are being done. Just to take a sense get a sense of how the election commission's preparations are for the polling tomorrow. And let me make a correction. The polling in Tripura starts from 7 a.m. in the morning and ends at 4 p.m. in the evening. Election commission has made elaborate arrangement for the Tripura elections tomorrow. And today we are at the Umakanta Academy in Agartala, which is the main dispatch center from where all the election parties including the returning officers, the polling officers of each of the polling stations and the security personnel are being dispatched along with the EVMs, the BV pads and other election material. If I can ask my camera person to pan, you can see uh, here the security personnel and the election parties are making their way out. They're collecting the EVMs and then uh, some of them, some of the parties, you can see there the EVM, they've collected the EVMs and they're making their way out of uh, this uh, center towards their polling station along with the you know central forces which have been given now tripura remember has a 60 mem uh, member legislative assembly uh, the 60 seats are spread across eight districts of the state but what is important here to be mentioned is that there are over 28 lakh voters who will vote and these votings would take place in 3337 polling station of which 1,128 polling stations have been marked as vulnerable and 240 polling stations have been marked as critical by the election commission. Where there are small and small 
पिछले दो महीनों में उसके ऊपर तुरंत कार्रवाई की गई और कार्रवाई करते समय हमने देखा गया कि कम्प्लेनेंट और एक्यूज इसमें भी सभी पोलिटिकल पार्टीज के लोग हैं तो कोई भी स्टेज में किसी भी प्रकार का भेदभाव लोगों ने देखा नहीं और ये देखते हुए हमारे राज्य में आज उत्सव के रूप में ये चुनाव का माहौल है और मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि हम एक नया ट्रेडिशन हम लोग ये त्रिपुरा में शुरू करेंगे जहां कोई वायलेंस नहीं होगा और कोई किस प्रकार की अप्रिय घटना नहीं होगी मैसिव डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ द सेंट्रल सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज अलॉन्ग विद स्टेट पुलिस एंड you know flag marches are being taken out to ensure that uh, there is zero violence election because that becomes important if there is no fear people would be able to come out and vote uh, and that is going to be the true in fact celebration of our democracy that's all the time that we have in this edition of breaking views tomorrow at 7 am ndtv starts its coverage of uh, the voting here in tripura the first northeastern state going to the polls in 2023 stay tuned news and updates continue good night